Hello YouTube, Dime Nato here, back with another video and tonight we will be talking about Sony A6000. Okay, tonight's video is going to be about why I got the Sony A6000 in 2020. This camera, the A6000, was made way back in 2014. It is now six years old. And why did I get it this year, 2020? We're gonna talk about that. Okay, so it's not gonna be a list. It's just gonna be my personal feelings about why I got it and. I'm not gonna dive down too much on it because I haven't used it as much. I mean, I haven't used it that much yet, but I'm gonna talk about why I got it and why I feel like it's gonna be a good addition to my kit. Because as you all know from my last video, it's a card up here or up here somewhere, but I recently shifted to the Sony system. Yes, I shifted from the Canon EOS R to that now Sony A7 III and I got this for as a backup for that Sony A7 III. Why did I get it? Why did I get the A6000 in 2020? Okay, so the A6000 is a APS-C mirrorless camera. So there's a bunch of reasons why I got it. First, it is because of the Sony E-mount system. Yes, the Sony E-mount lives in the A6000 and there is a lot of lenses available for the APS-C. I'm actually planning to get the 10 to 18 f4 for this camera so I can get that wide angle. I currently now have the 16 to 50 OSS uh, attached to it. So it's a great lens but it's not that good in low light because of the variable aperture. But yeah, sooner or later, I'm going to be getting more lenses for the A6000. But for now, I'm going to be focusing on getting lenses for my new A7 III. I mean, it's the E-mount they can share, but it's going to take a while before I buy focused lenses for the APS-C system. So I got it because it can do, at least now on paper, it can do everything that I need as for a secondary camera. So it can shoot my behind the scenes videos because i'm planning to make more behind the scenes videos for my photo shoots it can be my vlogging camera because it's so light you can just carry it everywhere you can put it in your pocket but i'm gonna be attaching my joby 3k with it and also it can live on my gimbal or a steady cam when i go out on shoots on video shoots because it is so light it's not gonna be so difficult to to it's not gonna be so difficult to balance the gimbal when the a6000 is on it and sony sony e-mount lenses are generally uh light so it's not gonna be a problem balancing it on a gimbal also i can use it as a second angle when i need to shoot like interviews or i need the second angle for my youtube video and it's just gonna give me more versatility uh, as compared to when I was just shooting with the EOS R, I only had one camera back then. And it has all the video features that I need. It can shoot 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second in all in 1080p. So that's pretty good for a backup camera because the Sony A7 III shoots 4K. So that would be my main camera. But as a backup, having that up to 60 fps at 1080 would be a great so i'm gonna show you now like just a couple of sample videos on the a60 a6000 that uh, i took a while ago and it's like a few minutes ago so here you go so all of these were shot in 60p so just to show you the slow motion because as a backup camera i'm gonna be shooting a lot of slow motion 60 60 fps on this camera so i'm showing you the 60 fps capabilities of this of the sony a6000 
another reason why I got it is because it is so affordable. But sadly, right now, Sony decided to discontinue the Sony A6000. So uh, they won't be making any more new Sony A6000s. But luckily, there is a lot of used units. You can find it at Facebook Marketplace. So I've been buying... I bought my A73 from the Facebook Facebook Marketplace. I bought my A6000 from Facebook Marketplace. It's pretty safe just as long as you do your due diligence. So make sure that the person you are talking to is uh, legit. Uh, make sure to check to do a background check because there are a lot of a lot of scammers out there. And uh, just be careful when you're getting from Facebook Marketplace. And uh, luckily for me, I haven't been scammed yet. But that's because I do my background check, I do my due diligence before I purchase anything from Facebook Marketplace. But there are a lot of A6000 units there over at the Marketplace of Facebook. I keep on saying Facebook Marketplace. I think there should be a Facebook Marketplace counter on the bottom. There you have it if you're looking for a camera that can... Be can, that can do a decent job or a good job at that to be your backup camera I strongly suggest the a6000 it is for some video videographers for some photographers everything started for them with the Sony a6000 because it is the one of the pioneers I guess of the Sony APS-C it followed the a5100 I think uh, yeah, so a lot of careers started with the A6000. I started mine with the Canon, but now I shifted. So I decided to get the Sony A6000 as a backup camera to my A7 III. And I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm excited to show you guys what it can do in real shoots. And all right, if you enjoyed this video and you feel like you got something out of it, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with your friends. And comment down below your thoughts on the A6000. And yep, that's it for me tonight. Good night, guys. Peace out.